There you are. Welcome back. Night and day TV here with Chris Cantori. Great to be with you. And then on Friday, August 2nd, Lowrider Lab offers the premiere of, work with me here, Trey Kilas y un Kiwi. Get it right? Yes. yes. A film about the introduction of Latin American's female, female surfing to the world. And we have one of the stars and the director of the film here with us right now. Please welcome Marina Zawizia. Help me. Zanisha. All right, that's what she yeah. said. No, I'm awful. I'm such a gringo. And we have Sofia Mulanovic. Yes. All right, I got that one right. So great to be with you ladies here today. Thank you. And please tell us, first of all, what does that translate? Uh, tres kilas y un kiwi. I got the first word three. Yes. Okay. <laughs> kilas. Kiyas. Kiyas. Mm -hmm. Not yes. kiosk. No, not, not kiosk. kiosk like you see at the mall. Kila. Okay. Kiyas. Kiyas is actually a, a word game, sort of, because if you spell it with a Q, so Q U I L L A S, okay. it's Kiyas, which is Finn. But oh, okay. in Inca mythology, Kiya is actually the goddess of the moon. So oh, wow. that was just a coincidence. I decided to name the film Tres Kiya y un Kiwi thinking of fins. And then when I started looking up different meanings, it popped out. So it was a so, good okay, coincidence. So the entire title helped the gringo out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Tres Quillas y un Kiwi is three fins and a kiwi. Or three, three goddesses. Fins, three and goddesses a and a yeah. kiwi. Like, Kiwi the fruit kiwi? Kiwi, I mean, it's also another game because kiwi is the fruit, but it's also for um, new people from New Zealand. Okay. We have an international guest. Her name is Paige Harab, and she's she's a kiwi, so. Gotcha. <laughs> and the goddesses would be the female surfers, right? Correct. <laughs> you consider yourself a goddess on the waves? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out here in just a bit. But tell us, please, about the film and how this all started for you. It started a really long time ago. A friend of mine said I should, you know, do a project about female surfers because I was in the movie industry and uh, I was going to do something about a contest and then little by little I started meeting all these amazing surfers and it, the project kind of grew along and it became what it is today. Are you a, a surfer as well yourself? I'm a surfer as well, yes. A and what type of role did you have in the movie industry before this film? I worked, I'm from Venezuela, okay. and I worked with my father who was an art director for three years, and then I started just working on my own personal projects, so I had that base to help me through, I guess. Gotcha. Now, how long did it take you to make this movie, and where it did you shoot? It took me about three years, more oh, or less. Oh, wow. So fairly long project. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been a long project. And we've shot everywhere from Peru, Costa Rica, Panama, Hawaii, uh, Puerto Rico. Wow. We have shots from Indo, kind Fan of all over the place. All these places I've dreamed of surfing in my yeah. day, but I have yet to experience. Now, yeah. where, where you're from Peru, correct? Yes, Peru. Okay, now, how, what's the surf scene and the culture like down in Peru? Yeah, it's getting a lot bigger. Uh, yeah. When I was younger, it didn't used to be that big, but now there's a lot of talent and a lot of new kids surfing really well, and there's starting to be more support, so it's good to see. Oh, that's awesome. Now, yeah. what's it like being a female surfer in Peru? It's great. Yeah. All my family surfs. I surf with my mom, too. And oh, awesome. Yeah, my brothers and my friends. So, yeah, there's a lot of female, female surfing there. So Now, I see you're obviously sponsored by Red Bull, yes. which is fantastic. <laughs> now, how does, uh, d are you involved in the tours? Do you compete? And uh, tell us about your career. Yes, I've been on the BWCT, that is a world championship tour uh, for 11 years. Okay. This is my 11th year. Congratulations, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I've, I've been competing for a really long time. So, yeah, I travel the world and surf contests and meet new people, see new culture. So, yeah, it's, it's a really good life. And, and when's your next contest? Um, I have a contest actually tomorrow in Oceanside. I don't know if I'm surfing tomorrow, but I might be surfing on Saturday. So, oh, hopefully really? it's good waves. And <laughs> we've got that little South Swell in town, too. Yeah, Perfect I know. Perfect timing, I'm right? I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, your role in the film and how did you utilize uh, Marina in the film? Or, I'm sorry, Sophia. Sophia. Well, Soph is a world champ. So when I first met her, it was in Costa Rica at that contest that I was shooting. And I went up to her and like poked her in the shoulder. And I was <laughs> like, hi, we're doing this. Like, would you, you know, want to be part of it? And, and then she was coming to California. So I just kind of followed them along. And we ended up becoming, becoming great friends. Awesome. So, <laughs> so this is going to premiere here in San Diego Friday, August 2nd. 
and that's happening once again at Link Soul Lab up in Oceanside where you reside, correct? Correct. correct. And it starts at 7.30 doors, the film starts at 8.30, and $10 contribution at the door, you're going to have beer, refreshments, raffle tickets, and it's all benefiting a great organization, Feeding the Soul Foundation. Correct. Continued success to the both of you. Will you give me some surf tips during the break? Of course. I need them. <laughs> I need them. All right, we'll be back right after this with the Celebrity Mashup Night and Day TV. Hang tight.